Officially available to the public starting today is a new software update for your iPhone which is iOS 18.4 and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that you need to know. As part of the latest Unicode 16 standard we have 9 new emojis that you can select and some of them are the updated Syrian flag, we have splatter, shovel and you can see all of them up to the tired face that you see right there. For the control center this update includes new ambient music that can be added. You can see the 4 selections that we have. Have, such as sleep, chill, productivity and well-being. For the iPhones that support Apple intelligence within notifications we have a new prioritized notifications that can be turned on. Under the camera settings we now have camera control options where we can now turn on visual intelligence. Gen emoji has been updated you can see right here the text and the font has been updated and the animation has slightly been changed. In addition to that if you use Gen emojis in WhatsApp it now works and is available for selection and we generate natively. For Apple Intelligence Image Playground we now have a new style that we can choose which is sketch and this is in addition to the animation and illustrations that were already existing. In the Apple Email app we have mail categories that are now available with iPadOS 18.4 and for iOS they were introduced with iOS 18.2. If you open up the voice memo after updating there's a new splash screen and at the same time whether your microphone or camera is in use the status indicators have been updated. Siri has been updated with two new Australian voices that you can now choose from. Within the settings of Apple Maps there's now a new option that allows you to select a preferred language. There's code within this update suggesting that the home app will no longer work with the old home kit architecture thereby requiring users to update to the latest one. In the wallet app there's a new option that allows you to set up pre-authorized payments. When you open up the podcast app for the first time there's going to be a new splash screen that's going to be telling you what's new and at the same time there's also a new widget that you can add when it comes to your podcasts. The official Apple Sports app has been updated now it gives you coverage when it comes to UEFA and Formula 1. If you are downloading an application in the App Store now it gives you the ability to actually pause it while it's downloading and then resume later on. The shortcut app has been added within messages now it have shortcuts that allow you to perform certain tasks within the messages themselves. There's a new Apple Vision Pro application that's now available for users that have the Apple Vision Pro and you can now set up guest mode. The control center has been updated with visual intelligence and Siri is one of the actions that you can set up. The settings app has slightly been improved with more search prompts that you can now use. The shortcut app has also been updated with multiple new actions for Apple default applications that you can now set up most of which are for changing application settings. Maps, Apple plans to add support for using the North American American charging system for EV routing options. Some users with a large infotainment system are seeing a third row of icons when using CarPlay. In the EU there is an option to choose a different navigation app and there is an option to set a different translation app as the default in the app section. The animation when swiping out of notifications is actually much smoother. In the Apple News app they've now added a new food section that you can open and be able to see different recipes and topics related to food. In photos hidden pics are no longer included for import to Mac or a PC if use face ID is enabled in photos settings. If you go into settings and select photos there's a new toggle that you can turn on for show recently viewed and shared and once this is on the recently viewed will show up in the utilities. In specific albums within the photos app we now have new sorting options that you can see so we can sort by newest oldest or custom. Clicking on the album tab where we see all our albums you can see we also have the ability to sort by date modified name and custom and we have additional filtering items that we can select such as albums and folders this update includes a bunch of fixes including recent search suggestions within safari that have been fixed setup assistant now has default child settings that parents can choose to use if that's an option they like there's a fix for screen time where app limits would persist even after a child uninstalls and reinstalls an app within the app store they now include user summaries to give you a quick glance of what other users are experiencing right there. In the fitness app under fitness plus there's an explore tab where we can now add different collections to our library. Meta compatible robot vacuum cleaners can also be controlled in the home app as well and can be added to scenes and automations and you can use Siri to control them as well. If you want to change or set up a new device language there's now 10 additional languages that you can select from including Punjabi, 
Ali Gujarati among others. This update fixes an issue where Apple intelligence wasn't available until the device was restarted or power cycled. This update also fixes an issue where the camera app would actually open up to a blank or a black screen and now you can see it's working just normal. If you go into settings and privacy and security for system services there's a new toggle that you can turn on for improved location accuracy. The bug that was causing users to miss or not receive their notifications has been fixed and now you can see everything right there. For the majority of users the network status indicators now match what is there in the control center and the bug seems to have been resolved for the majority of devices. This update allows AirPods Max to have lossless audio and ultra low latency allowing users to experience music the way producers intended. There's a couple of new updated applications in the Apple App Store so you might want to check your downloaded apps to see if there's any updates available. iOS 18.4 appears to also include integration for Japanese My Number Card Digital ID in the Wallet app. For enterprise and education users, Apple has made some updates to mobile device management giving users more options. Users with the AirPods Pro 2 in Australia, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Colombia, Malaysia now have access to the hearing loss feature that Apple has been rolling out for several months. An important reason why you should update is actually found on the Apple security page and this contains the CVE or the security patches that Apple has added and you can see for the previous update there was actually a CVE that affected WebKit so check this page to find what security responses this update contains. Under settings general and about you can see where the build number is. Apple tells us the new changes that this update has to offer but from this video you can see that there's a lot that they left out and I tried to cover everything. If you want to keep up to date with the latest updates including the latest iOS 19 definitely do follow for more.